<laughs> I'm still getting over how like overwhelmingly amazing today has been. Um, I'm, a, I'm an actor, center stage, um, poet, teacher, and um, have just been made the board member, one of the board members of the Actors Center, which is extremely exciting. I'm the youngest by about 40 years um, <laughs> on that board. Um, I'm going to share with you like two things that I didn't plan to say, but from sitting here, I, I thought of them. First of all, I went on a walk in York, and your pigeons are much cleaner than our pigeons. It's random, just thought I'd say it. Um, and then secondly, um, I am mixed race. My mum was born in Ethiopia, but she's British, because my granny was out there teaching English to Haile Selassie's cousins. How amazing. Um, and my dad was on the first wave of the Windrush. He came over when he was five from St. Lucia. And I'm mixed race, white and black, which is a remarkable thing. But it's becoming less and less and less remarkable, which is more remarkable um, in our society. And I think that's part of this shift that's happening. I mean, in my 22 years of being alive, um, I went from playing outside and knocking on people's doors and calling people's house phones to talk to them, like, hi, is Reese, is Reese there? Hello, Reese's mum. Um, to, I read a tweet this morning that an 18-month-old baby swiped, knows how to swipe into an iPhone and select <laughs> pictures that it likes. <laughs> what? Madness. Um, but that's not what I've come to talk to you today about, but I, I just got inspired by the stuff. Um, I said I was a poet, and this is a poem that I wrote about three people. It's called All That Glitters Is Not Gold. All that glitters is not gold. She bites her lip hard, while the boy smears gold glitter over his bruised face. To replace the black and blue, it's now black and gold, black and gold, black and gold. The colors he was beating for being who he is. Every time he stood up for what he believed in, he was knocked down for what they believed he was, cold. But bold is the boy, so he sits in the mirror and covers his face in sparkles. The marshal his father would rather give up his martyr than see his offspring fall in love with who he desired. Dad, please, smack he receives. The black and blue he smothers in gold. Staring in the mirror, painting on his armor to cover up the memory of his ununderstanding father. But this is what he was made to do. So fuck that. He paints on his glitter and will always be fabulous. All that glitters is not gold. She breathes and clutches her necklace round her throat, whose terrible means were escaped on a boat by the young man. He stands with his back to the wall, Life spent on his knees, but upright, he's surprisingly tall. He escaped his homeland of guns, diamonds, genocide, misery, and pain. Comes to England, joins a school, and the teachers can't even pronounce his name. Shame. He stands with his headphones blaring, caring and not caring. Mining gold was the sole motivation for his escape. But no one understood. No one cared. And life ain't fair. Fair, a word whose meaning is meaningless, and even less meaning when he is beaten by his peers for being different. The young man, small child soldier since seven, only paid attention in one lesson. So he stands tall back to the wall with his headphones blaring, because for the first time in his life, he's nervous and caring. All that glitters is not gold. She lets the gold diamond pendant fall to her chest, not knowing how much the young man suffered for it, her necklace to be there, wrapped around her neck. But it's meaningless, because it's taken on way more meaning to her. Privileged, snob, bitch, the words make her itch as she looks at the boy with the glitter and the young man with his headphones on and wishes she was them. Failure, she hears, fighting back tears, all because of her choice in careers, background where servants were in the background, that he paid for and supplied for, but never cried for. Oxbridge was the wish, 
Disownment was, the, disownment was the glitch when the bitch chose otherwise. So brave. The only family member who believed in her talent passed and passed the pendant onto her. The last bit of wealth whispered in her ear, believe in yourself. And now she's here with the boy and the young man waiting. Waiting. Wait, then the voice finally comes from up above. Fear and excitement gripping them all. Miss Blackledge, Mr. Rodriguez and Mr. Oromui, this is your beginner's call. All actors to the stage, please. All actors to the stage. Thank you.